Hey folks, Mac T back. And uh, I've been a lot of uh, folks talking about uh, putting gas locks on their uh, capless uh, filling systems. And uh, I just wanted to explain why you're sort of wasting money in trying to do that because there are a lot of different things that a gas thief would have to go through. First of all, I think gas thieves are scum and uh, they need to go out and get a job and find their own money to buy their own gas but hey it is society and we have to deal with it so anyway what does the Ford Edge in my Toyota and my Ford Ranger have as far as anti-theft as far as gas and I can tell you it's pretty hard to get gas out of the Ford Edges tried it couldn't do it I also tried the Toyota tried it couldn't do it Ford Ranger 1997 model. Oh yeah, I got gas out of that. <laughs> so, we have a little bit of a demarcation here. So let's check it out. That's right. That 1997, I was able to put a nozzle down in it and get the gas out of it. Uh, it was a little bit on the difficult side and I sort of had a hard time pulling the tube back out of the tank, but I was able to get it in the tank. But I got gas out of it and, and I was able to power up my generator. But uh, that being said, that Toyota right there could not get any gas out of it. It just would not cooperate. And it has a locking cover on it so that you have to open up the inside of it to get that uh, cover off. But I guess if a thief wanted to, they could pry that cover open and uh, then start trying to shove hoses down it. But it apparently has some anti-siphon devices in there too. Now my 2019 and my 2011 here both have really easy opening gas covers. And you have the easy fuel. That's right. This is a 2011. First thing that a thief would have to overcome is getting that open. And you have to have something like the size of a gas nozzle to do that. But then after you get down there then we got other problems that we have to deal with because there are essentially three obstacles they would have to overcome in order to get gas out. Now right here, right there, we have our filler tube and it goes all the way over to your fuel tank which is right over there. There it is. And this hose right here. Now inside this hose as it goes down there is two obstacles one you have a mesh screen right up over here that you have to bypass somehow in order to get into the tank and that mesh screen is fairly heavy duty and uh, no rubber type plastic or anything tube would be able to bypass that screen which in turn would cause all sorts of problems in getting a hose down in there. And two, it has to be very long because you can see the gas tank is way over here. So, by the time they get that hose down in there, they also have another problem on the tank. Now, these tanks are all equipped with rollover protection. That means there's a check ball in there. And should that check ball be in the way, which it will be, they won't get their hose down there into the tank and therefore that is the third obstacle. So you have a heavy duty mesh screen that uh, is guarding it and then you have a check ball that would be in the way and perform as an obstacle for them to siphon gas. Now for the really, really uh, uh, demented people I guess they would just ultimately resort to punching a hole in your gas tank that would be about their only recourse. So let's check out the 2019 and see if it's any different. Now again the 2019 is the same way. It has the capless system but it has a flapper valve and it has the door that has to be opened inside of this. So there's a blockage right there inside of that. So this is coming down and if they put a hose in there, it's going to catch and not allow them to pull the hose out. So it's a one way in, they're going to have to hold this open to do that. 
otherwise it just flops down onto their hose so if it's a soft hose it could actually cut it off from pumping fuel so it'd have to be a hard hose which makes it even more difficult but then there's that metal door in there just like the 2011 that they also have to get to open and it requires a tube the size of a gas nozzle now the gas line here is conveniently hid within the body structure and comes out right near the gas tank from the body structure over to here if I can actually get a picture of it there it is it goes into the tank now it's set up where it has a metal shield over it or a plastic shield and then and then the tank itself so you have two shields here uh, and this is part of the tank but keep in mind way over there is the other half it's like a saddle tank as far as the purposes go because it hugs the drive line and also the exhaust system so it goes up and over the exhaust system on both sides because this is an all-wheel drive but this right here is the filler neck well again there's a mesh heavy duty mesh screen that's in this filler neck and does not allow for hoses to be shoved down into it you'd literally have to force your way through it and a plastic hose would not be able to do that or a rubber hose so you'd have to have hard metal well then it has to be flexible metal on top of it uh, and uh, then you get to the check ball and the check ball is going to be your next hard obstacle that is going to be really hard to get by before you get to the tank again uh, I guess we're down to punching a hole through that heavy, heavy material. And uh, I don't know that they're going to carry too much with it. I guess you could drill it. But uh, then you run a risk of blowing yourself up into car too. But anyway, folks, you don't need to put a locking gas cap on your capless system. Uh, if they get through all that, you're going to have a lot more damage probably to your system than you could ever imagine anyway. Well, folks, I hope that helps you understand uh, why I've been telling you in the group you don't need to buy that lock. Uh, it's really just a waste of money, but if you feel more secure about it, then fine. But uh, overall, if uh, they can't get your gas, they're low lifes. They'll punch a hole in your tank and take it, and then you'll end up with all sorts of problems. But, uh, hey, this is Mac T, and uh, remember, my feet hit the floor today. I'm having a great day. I want you to have a great day. Band of One's always got some great music, and Mercy Grill always has a couple one-liners for you. Thank you for watching Mac T's videos, and remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Go production.